hi guys now we can see that the market has just been pretty sideways not much action going on it's typical friday movement and that's what we expect on fridays as well so the market has been pretty sideways we can clearly see that we had beautiful bullish engulfing candle the other day and the last two days 48 hours just been pretty sideways that's what we can expect from the market as well even if we jump into four hours we can see that the market has completely been pretty sideways we wanted the w pattern to continue but unfortunately w is very very far for us right now w is going to be somewhere around 45 to 27 right now we've just been trading around 40,000. though we had some kind of pullback just a short pullback because obviously there were too many long positions to be opening right now in the market and obviously exchanges wouldn't want that everybody go on one side so whenever everybody's going to be on one side the market has to do what the market has to do and bring it down so even if we jump into ETH, we can clearly see similar situation in ETH as well. We wanted to regain this support. We have successfully regained, but there's still a lot of stress, tension when it comes to ETH because it's just been pretty sideways. We would ideally want ETH to be changing positions very, very quickly because it's going to bring a lot of momentum in the market, especially for NFTs, Metaverse and other projects as well. The most interesting factor that I noticed today has to be DXY the dollar index and we can clearly see it made a double top right now it's pumping though we should be dumping but obviously we can't guarantee anything in this scenario right now looks pretty all right we would expect it to dump pretty hard but we are still waiting and just likely waiting to see what's going to be coming next here as well overall if you look at all the stocks dgi nasdaq s p 500 we can clearly see they are up about one one percent overall all the stocks all the other utilities are performing really really well my major concern has always been usdt usdt is still breaking trend and coming back to retest it we would ideally want the trend to be broken here and probably have it coming down to somewhere about three percent four percent that will guarantee us that the market is now looking very very bullish for now we can't call anything right now majorly and just have to monitor the market so let's get into bubbles we can clearly see that the ape that was so famous yesterday is in a bull back today because that's what the apes have to do you can't have a clear upside just going one direction you have to have some kind of pullback as well so if you look into rune we can clearly see that rune went all the way to eight dollars 49 cents came down to about seven dollars 78 cents is down about 4.6 percent in the daily we did expect that that's the reason we drew some zones that we were expecting it to come down to now we look at avax we can clearly see avax went from 75 dollars to about 81 dollars very good upside about 4.9 percent upside there and even if we go in an hour chart we can see that it went all the way down to 78 dollars and now it's building support around my support line which is around at 79 dollars looks pretty good very good hnt also had a very good upside from 23 dollars went to 23.68 and if we look at it in, in the day time frame we can see it went from 22 dollars to almost 23 dollars about one dollar plus surplus there as well overall if you look at major coins everything is in some sort of a pullback even if you want to look at luna luna from 90 dollars went to 85 dollars some kind of small pullback because i guess everybody was getting long into luna so they had to get liquidated in an hour frame we can see from 85 dollars it's back to 86 dollars looks all right but it's it's gonna be weekend now today is the start of the weekend so definitely we can expect a lot of sideways movements to be coming in the market and that's how the weekends usually start and end and that's what we have to be ready for it now we can have good trades coming into us after monday early morning or sunday night these are the days i usually like to take entries these are the best places to get your entries in as well there's not much news in the market so we're gonna right jump into our data and see what is happening on gate.io so ape is up about 125 percent looks very very good very decent amount there we're also going to discuss thoroughly what is the ape project about today then if we get into newly listed we are waiting anxiously for metaware usdt which is about four days to go so you can keep your trackers ready still got a lot of time we have azura going to be listing in a few hours as we can see in startup azura has already completed it's time it's going to be about three hours to go more reached about 52 one four six percent which is amazing and barry is also having a non-initial airdrop right now it's in progress both of them can have an upside but ideally i want to aim into metaware that is going to be a very good project it's going to be transforming the whole fashion industry to metaverse looks very very good and even sounds amazing so now we jump into liquidation data and our big data on gate.io we can see extreme fear is back down now we are 25 levels if we look at the positions right now in long and short ratio global data we are quite even stevens and even if we look into block trades we are more bearish slightly more bearish than we are bullish right now if we look into liquidation data we can clearly see that we are having even days we are even having bears getting liquidated and some bulls also getting liquidated especially the bulls that are playing out about 50x 100x will have to get liquidated here if we look into ape as well we can see a lot of pullbacks here in btc and other coins as well 
And then if we look into buy bid, we can clearly see short liquidation, long liquidation on OKX, short liquidation, gate. So a lot of people are getting liquidated in ETH BTC right now. That's the trend following as we can clearly see. And then even if you look at buy bid ETH and just my long liquidation, sand long liquidations, and even short liquidations because they these are two coins performing really well right now especially a and just my so we can expect something like that to be happening here clearly overall if we look into btc contracts and try to understand what are sentiments right now in the market we can see it's 52 10 percent to 47 90 percent so it's pretty even stevens even even here we can see on gate people are more bearish right now than they are bullish about 40 percent are only bullish about 59 around 60 percent right now are feeling bearish we can see here that the market in quarterly and other time frames are quite even stevens that's what we would like to have especially when we have our options expiry as well like i always say fridays are very important they bring us option expiries so we just have to be cautious about that and probably in the next two to three hours we can see some kind of movement to be coming either up either down that we're going to be discussing in the chart so if you do want to get into gate.io participate in these startups or newly listed coins just click in the link given below in the description and join gate.io and use my referral code that's going to give you some amazing airdrops as well so let's get into apecoin and see what this apecoin is all about because it's a very very important project so the details here we can clearly see about 11 dollars and 39 cents right now thousand percent up nearly from the day it started obviously it is on erc so it's going to be on ethereum's blockchain the market has pumped in a lot of money in it that's the reason it ranked up so quickly we've hardly seen that so in the last 24 hours or even if you want to see a one year high and low we can clearly see because it just started it was about 39 dollars and started from one dollar so that's the reason it was showing up upside there even you want to see the chart it went all the way up and down so it's been just trading a lot of it was dumped as well the main thing here is going to be that this coin is going to be released in parts it's not going to be just released in one go so there's still a lot of coin about 70 percent of the coin is yet to come in the market so you can't just ape into this and be crazy about it because obviously as the supply would increase and increase you will definitely have to wait and be cautious because it's one of that's going to bring the market down as well so a coin is on erc20 governance total utility to ape ecosystem to empower incentive decentralized community building at the forefront of web three overall this project is obviously made by the board ape yard club project ape club was founded to be used within the bargaining of ape U ecosystem which is supported by ape foundation so this is going to bring like a dao system into ape board ape club as well so they can have an ecosystem where they have nfts maybe probably they are working on metaverse as well so a lot of things will be coming in this coin ideally if you want to have my opinion on this coin yes if you want you can buy some maybe one or two coins max at this price at 11 if we do have a pullback around seven dollars six dollars then you can still get into it probably buy five six of them but i wouldn't want to buy 10 20 38 coins right now because i know that they're going to be increasing the supply very very soon and i don't want to get caught into any kind of dumb situations so just have to protect yourself there and be very very cautious when it comes to a coin now let's get back into our charts and see what we can expect overall from this weekend as well i will try to update you guys on the weekend on sunday what is the update overall we can see here that all the coins that we were targeting this week are really holding up beautifully that's the reason we aped into them and we didn't get into ape coin so now we can clearly see here that uh, ar did come down all the way to thirty dollars we're expecting it to come and retest the trend line very well done that it didn't come down and retest the trend line now it's getting closer and closer to my spot dca spot which is going to be my buy zone for spot i always like to dc a bit of here because i'm very very bullish and i love ar because it's the only best cloud storing services available right now for blockchain technologies and other uses as well now we get into avax we can clearly see avax we expected it to come down build some kind of support here now we can clearly see that the support is kind of starting to build we are facing some rejections as well so if we do fail to build support here this is a very very high chance instead of this going on we can expect some kind of movement downwards as well so we have to be cautious here if you have been taking this trade it's a very good time to book some small profits like maybe 10 percent 20 percent from your contract size or even in your spot that would be a very handy situation right now so even if we have some kind of short pullback to these levels about 74 76 dollars and then probably have a retest again you can be very protected in that situation because you've already taken profits so that would be a good good decision to be making right now as well now even if you want to look into phantom today and see what we can expect from phantom in the long and short term we were expecting phantom to come on upside or downside right now it's just been on pretty sideways situation so we just have to monitor it 
keep watching it definitely it's the cheapest layer one out there i'm sure with the metaverse nft so much happening right now in the world there are going to be times where suddenly phantom is going to start pumping and obviously the andre fart that he had left the project has already slowly slowly people are beginning to forget that's what usually happens in blockchain every day you get new news and then you begin to forget what happened yesterday and now if we get into luna we can clearly see as well we were expecting from a long time from this channel that he could come back and test these lines even if i want to open out market cipher and see what are the ems talking to us in the short time frames they're asking us to come back all the way but if we jump back into the day time frame we can clearly see that the day time frames are also asking us to come back about at my support levels so that is going to be a very interesting stat that we have to just monitor and look at so definitely it can have a pullback to these zones as well if it does you can dc a more amount because it's going to be building a new support levels here we've only tested our all-time high once we did break above but it was just about uh, about 40 cents or a dollar so that wasn't much upside that we were expecting so we can expect it to just consolidate here especially in the day time frames and we will get a better picture as the weekend finishes so sunday is going to be a very very important day in my eyes for luna especially now if you want to jump into rune and see how has rune been performing for the last few hours it's going to be a very critical week for rune as well as we know rune has main net launch coming very very soon so everybody's quite bullish for that as well now we were expecting rune to come closer to these levels it did come all the way to 7.9 something and we would expect it to come down maybe lower slowly slowly it's just been pretty sideways right now looks all right but a good thing right now is that like we discussed yesterday we don't want to have any kind of double top situation or even building a head and shoulders pattern by having another pump like that so overall it looks good if we if we do break above this line then probably we can consider it increasing our contract size but for now we just have to be very very patient and just watch the markets because obviously it's friday fridays are tend to be very very slow so we can expect some kind of sideways movement going on until we go towards the end of the weekend now if we jump into other coins we can clearly see most of the coins right now in the market are in pullback but likeliness there is a high chance that as the market's option expiries finish we can expect some kind of pump coming into these coins as well etfs also look quite bearish right now which is all right because ever since they came into the market since november we've only been seeing them shorting bitcoin and that's where the retail has been getting hurt as well now we look at stocks we can clearly see stocks are behaving all right everything is up about three percent which is very very good the coins that we were experiencing like amd and navida to be pumping pretty hard the other days is now in small pullbacks correction going on there as well commodities look all right as well oh warford is still going on this tit for tat tit for tat so there's not much interesting news probably when xi jinping and joe biden meet today then we will probably have some kind of developments happening in the markets as well overall you can see that the market is in a very strong pullback so now if you get into btc my final verdict for the next uh, 24 hours has to be that the market will remain in some kind of pullback situation like this that we are in right now so we can be like yesterday i said pretty sideways here as well just roam around in this region throughout the weekend or we can come back and retest our resistance and turn this into support which we have failed to do in the previous times like you can see we weren't able to build any kind of support at these levels we always pumped really hard up and then got rejected from danger zone or we got rejected from our resistance of forty five thousand dollars so hopefully something good is going to come out from this weekend main reason main thing has to be focused right now is our volume we need people to be buying into btc in bulk that's going to change everything for us so that's all for today's video guys i hope you liked this video if you do smash the like button share the video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel that what keeps me motivated and make these videos for you guys take care guys see you tomorrow on the nft show bye bye